But all in all, no matter who it was, cautionary tales like this exist as to serve a warning that humanity's greatest threat are other humans. And because of that, it's better to stay strapped than get clapped. Because there is evil out there, but that evil is always susceptible to a 45 caliber round right between the eyes. There's always some guy in the comments complaining about how I pronounce something, so you can go ahead and pronounce these n- Kick off our story with the understanding that if anything is attacking your home, you are required to go goblin mode on it. And I'm talking like full tactical gear running through the woods full on chimp energy. Your fingers are just little arms at the end of your arms. The top knuckle is the shoulder, the middle knuckle is the elbow, and the bottom knuckle is your wrist. You're welcome for that. As people will put boards with nails over the road. Uh, they want you to get out and move the boards so that they can rob you. If you ever see something like that, in the road that looks deliberate, never get out and move it. Uh, that's how you get got. Unless you are in a car full of people who are all strapped and they are ready to rock because you just never know what's out there. If you do have the ladder though, get out and beat some wholesale ass. So they turn off the gravel. So here's the thing. If someone is going to pull something like a force multiplier on you and you somehow get it out of their hands, you need to use it immediately. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, don't sit there and cry, breaking Benjamin that dude and blow him away. See, back in the day, road trips with my dad would just be, uh, give me and my brother's Dramamine, which would knock us unconscious for like five hours so that we could actually make some headway on road trips without fighting. And now I do that with my wife. So, is that pile of laundry actually a monster? Could be. Is that chair a serial killer waiting for me to fall asleep and take me out? Very likely. Is that the pee pee poo poo man hiding behind my closet door? The room is rigged with several shotgun traps, just like my house. So you might be asking yourself, is Roanoke a crackhead? Yes. Thanks for wondering that. Meek shall inherit the earth? Yeah, maybe after us chads are done with it. Chads being the human race. When we approach a hydrothermal vent, it is just sitting there hydrothermaling menacingly. You should probably have traded it in by now, but don't get it twisted though. A, Toyota supremacy. Two, these cars will never die. And D, they're pretty fuel efficient getting 31 miles per gallon on the highway with a four banger. Eventually we picked up a rock and said, oh, sorry animal kingdom. I know you've all been competing to dominate this planet and be the most fit in the environment, but it looks like I just figured out how to throw a rock. Coming into contact with these beasts, it was assumed to be a raccoon because those are usually about six feet tall and have no hair, as we all know. But we pan out to discover, ooh, claw marks on the windows. The raccoons are at it again until she sees someone barely move in the woods. The group thinks it's either Sarah or a moose since they're apparently both about the same size. But then she hears a heroic moped in the distance. And I bet you, I would put five dollars that is the first time you've ever heard that statement in your life. I just combined those words and now you know them. When we picked up a stone and said, here, have rock and threw it at a saber toothed cat's head and rendered it unconscious. Sorry about your hundreds of million years old evolutionary arms race other animals, but humans just ascended to cryptid status. John is lost in thought because he's tired of this grandpa, but as we will come to find out, that's too damn bad. 